Welcome to the NRSL Budweiser IndyCar Series here for the Gulf Oil 200. Up here in the booth is my good old colleague Dylan Young for his first time in the NRSL IndyCar booth. Now, this is one of the new tracks in NRSL, so it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy probably. So, out of practice and qualifying, uh, what do you expect? Expect pandemonium. We, I, the NRSL Outback and Universal Air Cup Series, also known with the Nationwide and Cup, they did their debuts here, and they did very, very incredible. And now it's the IndyCar's first Drivers. ever debut race here, so this is going to be very Start. interesting. We're looking forward to this, and who knows what to expect. A lot of turns and crazy, crazy shit going to happen. As, as the uh, commander just gave the command to start the engines, the German of Bo Brandenburg grabs the pole for this race in the Middle East. Hmm. And he's not had this. This is going to be really good for him. But you never know what to expect on this track. As the pace car is going to come off the final turn and head down to pit road right now. The fans are on their feet. 42 drivers come here. One driver is going to be very, very happy. Oh! To win this. oh someone blew that's still at the row. He blew up! Right on the start, but the green flag is out. And this is going to be two big turns where a lot of good passing can be right here. Oh! And, whoa! Look at the outside line. Johnny Mills. <laughs> oh my god, crazy back there. Johnny Mills got a good run off of turn number one, too. Wow. We did a test race here, and they actually uh, go crazy through that turn and uh, a few other turns coming in here, so we don't know what to expect. And we got word, too, there will be pit stops, and there will be a lot of uh, crazy passing for uh, position, too. Well, let's see, Johnny Mills having a great gap to start off this one. Yeah, this is a turn here where also Pandemonium can strike here, so we're going to keep an eye on this turn right here. Now, this is, a, wide yeah, too. this is a turn that could be very good for a passing spot, too, as well. And also, we, now. And also we forgot to mention, there's no cautions for this race. No cautions and pit stops? Oh my. Here we go, coming across the first lap here. Now here's your little... Oh yeah! Dylan Thoreau, it's showing up as the leader! With a broken what? valve! What? That's not right. Tell me how crazy that is, and he didn't even lead the lap. So, NRSL officials do have an explanation and and an answer if I'll throw as the leader and accidentally him winning the race, we will just delete him from the points so he won't get any points at all. It'll be a tough break for him, but it's something that the NRSL officials will have to do. But Johnny Mills... I'm going to have to fire that idiot. <laughs> yeah, but Johnny Mills would get the win instead, instead of the 91, if... It stays like that, Maybe. but we're only on lap two of nine. Anything can happen. And another thing, too, pit stops could happen as well, so we don't know what to expect of when they will come down pit road. Let's take a look through the field. That's Jason McCarthy. Hmm. I think See what happened to McCarthy right there. Yeah, they're repairing his car. He blew for some reason. Looks like wait, an wait, accident. Survived? Wow. Oh no, okay, so wait, he was the car that dealt with the lap with the no. blown up car. No, Dylan Thoreau was the blown up car. See? Right. Now, believe it. <laughs> he blew up coming into turns one and two. And I'm amazed to how they have Thoreau as the leader, he, too. That's, oh, wow, some contact, contact right there, and nearly turned right there, too. Wow. Drama let's, on the first lap. Now let's go back to live coverage here. And it, okay, now, there we go. It's, it's the scoreboard's it. fixed. I, I want to know the genius that did that one there. Coming the to the line. Yeah. Lap four of nine. Skylar Dixon a, is in second. Second. Yeah, there is a big gap right there, about one point seven uh, seconds at least behind behind each other and then behind him at least another second there as well yeah but hold up Skylar Dixon actually <clears throat> made some time on Johnny Mills 
It was 1.75 earlier. If I were Johnny, drive away like a Sunday drive, but you better watch out for that uh, second place driver. He is coming. Oh, what happened? Another pit road. That's Katie Elizabeth. This was recent. Let's see if we find out to Elizabeth. Oh, she, she just blew up. Blew up. And, uh, that's like the third car that blew up on this track. Reliability issues are pretty huge here. We got to talk about their pre race, but yeah, right in the middle of the turn, outside, thankfully. Not and on the look at that too. We're only three laps in, and three cars blew up. What would happen if nine cars blew up in nine laps? Something would be oh. wrong. Then. Wow, close call right there for the green car right there. So it looks like Katie Elizabeth is done, sadly. But now it's lap. Five Number of five. nine. Hopefully, no more blowing up cars will be in there. Some, if if more cars blow up, then something must be wrong. And but we got more balance towards the back of the field and middle. Oh yeah, Sue said. Yeah, this is gonna be a good turn right here, where they're gonna make a lot of good passes, and right there, as you can see, as an example. But yeah, if that. that. The that right side of the line is getting a good run than the left side, so that's very interesting. Oh, side by side going in here. Here's oh, here's the rookie, Sean Harple. He is Texas. He almost had the win, but then he had the pit. Coming to like two laps to go with the white flag, I believe he f ended up finished at least somewhere in the top ten or top twenty. So it's top twenty is still a good result for him, but currently he is in the nineteenth spot, still learning as the race progresses. So it's ooh. And I just realized too. When are they gonna do pit stops? Because we are approaching towards the end of the race, and there will be pit stops at that point. I I think they're gonna do it maybe next time by, but Let's... it is just a two car is what it looks like it's saying on the ticker, and third place is actually two seconds ahead of turns at at least 170 miles per hour in some parts of the track. Well, this track is flat and has a lot of straight, so this is not a surprise where the cars can really... You know, this, this track is just completely flat. There's no bank, just complete flatness. Now, the main question is, is... Pitting! Well, you're going to pit? Yes, he is. Here we go. Second place is going to probably pit as well. Yep. So, oh, some green flag pit stops going on. Enrage! He is staying ben out! Rage. And you see a lot of drivers are pitting right there. But one of the good things about that is that at least the field is actually more coming back with each other and not all super separated. Wow, but Eric Enrage, I believe he's one of the only ones that stayed out. Yeah, I was just about to say too. Oh, he's, I think he's the only one. Oh, wait, a few more. Fisher. Those are the only cars that stayed out. We have three cars that stayed out. And Let's see. all of them are in dire winds for a Oh, win. oh, oh, we must have had another wreck because there was a car that shot in the wall right there. Uh-oh. Yeah, if you look right there, there is a wreck. That I, I seen some screech mark, and it goes directly to the wall. Somewhere around there. I don't see it. I, I thought I did, but yeah. we'll probably look at the end of the race, just to be safe. Anyway, there's Eric Enrage. Now, is he going to stay out? Is he trying to conserve fuel? No, he isn't. He's coming in. And the funny thing, too, is that Enrage didn't even lead that lap, so that's very odd there. But now Enrage is coming in, Kent the Rose coming in, and Ramey Fisher. And now here comes Johnny Mills coming back through the field to take the lead right back away. Oh, yeah. But if Enrage can get a good pit stop, oh, never mind. I was going to say, if they can get a good pit stop, they can get out ahead. But, man, that car is flying through the field. Yeah, he had a very good pit stop strategy. As Eric Enrage actually did lead that lap, but yeah, well, the car is strong. That's what it is. That car is just unbelievable. Ever since the green flag came, that car was like a rocket ship. Some but bad heading in, uh, we're in two laps to go right now. Can Johnny Mills hold on and get his first career win? Oh, be awesome for him, I believe. But let's see where. Oh, there's Ramey and Fisher just coming out of pit road. Is why strategy to Kent try Zero. though. To stay out and then there's Eric Enrage. We're gonna. Yeah, did you see the screech mark there? That's where I saw the wreck around that turn. 
Really? Hmm. Yeah. Let's see, right? Oh, I I seen it. Trust me. I seen. It. Yeah, we'll have to look. Cause there was a wreck that I saw from that that point. There were two wrecks now. But uh, that's very odd. But in the meantime, though, Johnny Mills coming on. White flag lap to see if he can continue his dominance. Here we go. White flag display for Johnny Mills. Yeah, and. One thing we talked about during this race is the reliability issues as we have numerous cars are out of the race. Uh, let's see, only three actually. So... Yeah, in three laps. Yeah. And, and I think too, if, if Mills wins, he'll be the second American to win, I think. I th no, Ken Thoreau won at Texas, I think. That's what I was saying too. It'll be three Americans. Charles Jackson. Okay. Mm, that's right. Kentaro and Johnny Mills. But Mills just keeps on dummy. But you know, you never say never and win this because he has opened up a three, nearly four second gap on second place. And he is just running away. That nine car for Chip Ganassi is just looking on fire right now. Al Mills Motorsports coming into the final turn. And remember that 28 car that stayed out? He's currently in the eighth place, so he's gonna look like a top ten for that team tonight. Good but here it comes there, but... Johnny Mills taking his first ever win in the IndyCar series. Close battle for second right there, but the yellow car gets it right there. Let's see if we can get a good close battle at the line. Nope, single file. Oh wait, we got a battle. Nope, oh, just missed it. Oh, look at oh, that battle. Wow. Close foul right there. That may have been the top 25. But this was a very interesting race right there. No, none to say there. But besides those three cars there, we're going to have to take a look at that wreck that possibly happened because I thought I saw cars uh, hit the wall or something. So... We got to see what happened. Let's see. The 15 is the last one to lap down, so he could be. That's Jimmy Bly Jimmy as Bly. he pulls into his pit stall and done for the day. But I don't know. Yeah, what... and I saw it on the turn there, and it was after the first two turns I saw uh, some marks. Oh. Well, Bly, that wasn't what I was thinking of, but okay. <laughs> that was something happened. Bly. Go. What? I think he just lost the car. Yeah, he lost the car. Wow. Oh wow. He literally just entirely lost it. But I saw some marks after this turn, right over here. And that was on two laps to go. Yeah. It was the next big turn, which would be this one right here. Now slow down. There's somewhere around here. I don't see like somewhere here. No, I don't, hmm. I don't see I, anything. I, I swear, I thought I saw him. Let's see, let's go to our holocaptic. Uh, holoc <laughs> oh, One more time? Holoca ah, helicopter. There you go. Good job. Yeah. Speak the English language. Okay, and stop right there. Now, we gotta. Let's see if we can try to go to the nun camera. And see if we can go backwards to see if we can figure out what happened. That could be a possibility because I literally did see some screech marks. There's no way that there was none. It's funny how they're looking backwards, too. Well, we're on lap five. Oh! Oh, there it is. There it is. See? I, I knew there was. Okay, we're gonna have to go fast forward just a tiny bit and pause. Oh, oh my! Wait, let's see if we can. Oh, I think okay. that was Brenda Pericles. See, I knew there was a car that shot that shot in there. Yeah, no, it's Brenda. That's Brenda. Oh my! Let's see. I think there was some contact with that light blue car right there, I think. I believe that's Makoto Igu. Actually, I think that's uh, the Shelly. Uh, oh, yeah, oh that Shelly. Was... 
That was a light blue car right there and runs into the oh. right rear wheel and oh wow. The thing the is, right Brenda there. was able to finish, let's see where she finished, in 24th. So even after that, she finished in at least... Uh, I think, well, I think that changed because she had to pit and all that. But yeah, that was odd. I knew there was a wreck that happened. That was very, very odd. Oh, yeah, that changed. She finished... Yeah, see, I finished. See, Dylan Young finished fourth. She finished 37th. Yeah, and I knew there was something that right. So, from what it was seen there, 18 cars finished on the lead lap, and about 19th on down toward the bottom of the field ended up being a lap or two down. So, very, very interesting there, folks. What an exciting track uh, Dubai is. Wow, well, not the close racing we have hoped for in today's race but surely it was very interesting with the spins the wrecks the pit stop strategy and the three cars that stared out that posed a question for us in the booth to try to answer to what they were doing but johnny mills takes the win and and let's see who's on the podium it's johnny mills jake baskinger one two usa and ian butter brazil the first brazilian that does step on our nrsl podium this season so far. So this has been part of the NRSL Budweiser IndyCar Series. Check out Dylan Young's channel. His link will be in the description. He's having Outback Please sign up sub. soon. Please sub. I'm two away. Uh, I think we might go to Indianapolis for the NRSL 500. Should be a very exciting race. 50 laps at the Indianapolis Hello. World Speedway. Please. Hell, we should call it the NRSL 500B or something. Oh my god. <laughs> Copyright! Yes! <laughs> so, once again, it's been me, Chris Washer, or the Dishwasher, and whatever Young. one. And, yep, and Dylan Young, 867 8558 See you guys later.